Hi there, I'm Colleen Call, and I'm here at the Palm Beach International Film Festival with the documentary short Rose Compass, which is the story of Run for Roses, which is a 1,000 mile running pilgrimage where I ran from St. Louis to New York City to spread awareness, raise funds, and share stories of cystic fibrosis. I did this run in honor of my sister, Katie Rose, who has cystic fibrosis. I had never been a runner before 2005, but at that time my uncle, who's a marathon runner, started coaching Katie how to run. Because running is hugely beneficial for people with CF because it helps break up the mucus that forms in their lungs. And at first Katie hated it because it was one more thing she had to do because she had CF. So in an action of sister solidarity, I told Katie that if she ran in St. Louis, I would start training and running in New York, where I lived at the time, and I would sign up to run uh, the Bank of America Chicago Marathon for Team Cystic Fibrosis. Eventually, both Katie and I began to love running and pretty much became addicted after that first marathon. And in 2011, I decided I wanted to take my marathon running for cystic fibrosis to the next level. And that's when I developed Run for Roses, which was a 65-day run, um, which is especially important because of the 65 Roses story, which you're going to get to meet uh, one of my role models, Mary Weiss. <laughs> and, <laughs> Mary Weiss is my role model and when she heard about this run that I did and that we made a documentary based off of the run and the different families of uh, people with CF that I met along the run from St. Louis to New York, I called up Mary and said, Mary, will you come to St. Louis? Louis? My new home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we want her to move there and be the guest of honor for the screening of Rose Compass that we did in St. Louis. And so Mary came and um, Mary, will you share it? the story of cystic fibrosis? Well, I have often said that with as much heartache as cystic fibrosis brought into my life, it has brought one good thing, the wonderful people I have met. My three sons were born with cystic fibrosis. We didn't know that any of them had it until I was pregnant with the third, and against all odds, the baby had it also. Of course, that was many, many years ago, the early 60s, before a lot was known about CF. CF is a genetic disease, and it takes an enormous amount of daily care therapy for them to, to get through. I moved to Florida and I started the chapter down here. And I was on the phone 24 hours a day calling people, organizations to help support CF. And one day my little son, who was four at the time, came toddling into the room and he says, Mommy, I know what you're working for. He didn't know he had CF. He did his therapy and he did all that work, but he didn't know he had the disease. I said, sweetheart, what am I working for? You work here for 65 roses. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what he was wearing that day, a little yellow seal sucker. And I took his frail body in my arms and I said, yes, sweetheart, I'm working for 65 roses. And that became the theme for an annual benefit that we have at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach. We have raised millions of dollars over the years, spread awareness, supported yeah. research, and at the time we did not have a CF center in the community, and we had to send children to Miami or Gainesville. Now we have a center at St. Mary's Hospital with approximately 120 patients, which shows a real you know, result of what it has done. Plus we have extended the life expectancy of children with cystic fibrosis. In the early 60s, it was 13 to 15. Today, we're talking late 30s and longer. We've not only extended their lives, but we've improved the quality of their lives with new therapies, new drugs, new treatments. And the awareness of people and their support has made all of this possible. It's really astounding to see what has happened in a short, relatively short period of time and the amount of hope that the 65 Roses story and what Mary and Richard's legacy has brought to families like mine with CF is just huge. I can remember Googling cystic fibrosis and that coming up and- um, 65 Roses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 65 Roses. And for someone, a sibling of someone with CF, it meant the world to me. And uh, the best thing for me is that after Katie ran the last five miles of the run into New York with me, and last April, she said, Colleen, I want to run a marathon. <laughs> so, 
So we trained together. I was her coach and we trained all through the hot St. Louis summer and last October Katie and I ran a full marathon together. So 26.2 miles she did with CF. So if somebody with CF can do that then we are all so capable of so much and like Mary said we are getting so close to the cure but now more than ever is when we need the support. But the thing is we still need a lot of support because research is very very complicated and we need new therapies until we find the cure. We have now a new drug was uh, approved by the FDA, the uh, Food and Drug Administration, and it has been phenomenally successful. For a small percentage of the CF population, it turns the disease around, which is fantastic. But we need this for the rest of the patients, and that's a very costly matter. But one of our national priorities should be health of our people. Health of the people in our nation. What is more important than to support medical research? And this is what I hope people will understand. The role that they can play by supporting medical research, which improves the quality of life of all our people, extends it, and makes lives fuller. It's wonderful. That's super. Thank you so much for talking to me and well done. I look forward to seeing the film. Where, where can people see the film? Um, so right now we're submitting the film to a bunch of different film festivals. It was shown today. It was shown today. Yeah, so it's shown today at the Palm Beach International Film Festival. And Lake and, Worth. Yep, in Lake Worth. And hopefully it'll be shown in a, a bunch more film festivals. Um, and after we do the film festival circuit in 2014, it'll be available online and um, oh, on DVD as well. But uh, people can check out our runforroses.com website for more information. And we also have little snippets from the documentary if they want to get a sneak peek before then. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you thank both you. of you. Thank Keep you. up the good work and, and, and thank you. Thank you for inspiring us all with your stories.